hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You are blessed son. Stay blessed. Jesus gave a parable and said there was a man that went to seek help from his neighbor. Paraphrasing. And the neighbor for a long time would not attend to him. And the Bible says that man kept persisting. Persisting. And though the man would not talk to him, but for his importunity, he kept drumming him. In other words, I'm not going back. The woman kept going to the judge. I meant to say, avenge me. Avenge me, my adversary. And then he would not listen to her. The Bible says he neither feared God nor man. But that woman said, I may not have the power to beat you, but I have the power to force you to move. And she demonstrated persistence. And the Bible says she wearied that unrighteous judge until he moved on her behalf. I spoke about diligence last week and it's a very powerful key there is a way you stand and insist that lord what is mine must enter my hand i've seen it in my dreams i've seen it in my visions but lord i agree with you that it must be in my life archbishop benson idahosa said if your faith says yes god will not say no so we're here tonight among other things not just to pray for the sick alone not just to deliver the oppressed alone but to trust god to take away every barrier that is capable of stopping you from testifying and seeing the goodness of god in your life listen the theology of oppression is very straightforward it's very simple god has an agenda completion satan has an agenda his agenda is to stop whatever will make god happy period his agenda is not to cause you pain his agenda is not to make you broke listen his agenda is not to make you sick his agenda is not to make you fail that's not satan's agenda his agenda is to make sure he becomes a resistance to whatever in and through your life will bring god glory that's it so if it takes crippling your destiny for your life to become a mockery to God, Satan will go to any length to make it happen. So if Satan makes you broke, it is not about finance. If all you are looking at is finance, you are, you are making a mistake. It's not your finances. He wants to use your life as a message to say, God, you are a liar. So his assignment is to find everything God said concerning your life that he tied his integrity to and use your life like a canvas to paint a picture because you are the highest of his creation are we together now so if satan 
ensures that this man and his wife don't give birth it's not about barrenness you see if all you see is oh god when are we going to have a child it's not about barrenness there is something that you're giving birth to a child will do to the name of the lord within your territory and that's what satan is fighting when elizabeth was barren it was not about her it was about john the baptist who will ordain jesus who will save the world who will bring glory to the father it wasn't about elizabeth she was just a scapegoat because she came into the midst of prophecy are you getting what i'm saying now there are some of you the devil is fighting your breakthrough because he knows that that gate and that door has never been opened in your family and he knows you are too kind to receive the blessing of the lord and allow your loved ones cry so he would do anything he has already seen your heart and he will make sure it doesn't get to your hand i have learned from the word of god and by experience that satan is not looking for many things satan is looking for anything that can give god glory whatever can give god glory is a threat to satan i think you should write that down anything that in and through your life can give god glory is a big threat to satan more than you know your job can be a threat to satan if it will give god glory your business can be a threat to satan if it will give god glory your prosperity can be a threat to satan if it would give god glory your having children can be a threat to satan and that's what he's looking for so why should the devil allow god give you a car when he knows that with that car you will no longer come to church alone you want to buy a bus and he had your prayer when you were vowing and said lord bless me with this bus and i will make sure this bus is full every sunday and the devil says oh i had that if you said lord buy me a bus to prove to the people in my village i'm not a failure he doesn't mind because all that doesn't bring glory to god let me tell you not everything threatens satan i can tell you what threatens satan the moment he sees your heart saying lord my life and anything that will pass through this life will give you glory it may look simple but you have said something to satan that is more painful than praying in tongues that my life <sighs> lord bring these millions for me and lord if you bring these millions for me i have 11 siblings along my family line that have not gone to school and lord i know that if you put this in my hand i will make sure all of them go to school and i will make sure they go to mission schools and satan says aha uh -huh. The school was not the issue. The mission, mission Abi, and that's it. An attack that you did not invite comes to your life. And you'll be wondering what is happening to my business. It's not the business. There is an agenda. You have connected your business to God's heart. And Satan says that's a threat. Remember, in the Bible, Satan killed children. He didn't wait till they grew. If he killed children, he will kill visions even before they manifest. He doesn't have to wait till you get the first contract he doesn't have to wait till you start the church he's seeing you in the secret place praying and say lord you know i desire this healing anointing not just for myself in this entire territory the men of god are wonderful but it's just evangelism here there's no demonstration of the power of god lord i come to you if it pleases you can you grant that through my hands ah the devil sees what you are saying if you said lord anoint me because my uncle said something that i will never be a success and i need to prove to him it will not threaten the devil but the moment satan is looking for the kingdom component of your prayer the kingdom component of your communication anything you say and do if satan can find the heart of god in it he's threatened lord i thank you lord you know that is it's not like i don't like men lord I, I want to be able to to marry somebody that loves you it's my it's always been my privilege to serve you serve you 
I want my children to call upon your name. The devil had that one too. He didn't hear, Lord, I worship you. He didn't hear, Lord, I thank you for this day. He had, my children will worship you. And Satan says, no way. Make sure, make sure that this lady, wherever her marriage is, bury it to nonsense. Give her money. Give her a job. Because she has not made any statement about God being glorified in the job. So she can have the job. But the one that God will be glorified through, that's the one I'm interested in. Are we together? And then when Satan hears you pray prayers like, Lord, take my everything. The devil says, demons, you can go. I'm staying here. Take my everything. <laughs> there is a reason why Satan attacks. He does not attack you because of you. Listen. God is comforting us already because there are many of us wondering, what is all this? Lord, what is this? I will see something almost getting to me. What is the thing? Why, why is Satan taking my case personal? There is a reason. The reason is not you. Don't be fooled. It's not you. The reason is something you represent. Something that is of God through you. Satan has seen that by God's preordination, your womb is supposed to carry one of the prophets that will herald God's end time agenda and he says whatever make her marry wrong or make her not get married or make her get married to somebody who has the cause of barrenness just do whatever you can do to clamp this lady oh God my father is 71 they are still staying in a rented house Lord would you open a door for me and as you do this, Lord, you see my heart. I will renovate all the churches in our village. I will sponsor this. I will buy a bus. And Satan says, buy a bus for nonsense. Renovate which church? All of a sudden, you find out that the business that everybody likes you, suddenly your business partner starts saying, I don't understand you again. It's not the business partner, my brother. A commitment from you has touched the heart of God. And it sounded an alarm to the gates of darkness. You see, when you, when, when you understand how and why Satan attacks, then you will know why the power of God will continue to come around your life until victory is complete. Hmm. One day, I, I can't remember where I was driving to. Sometimes I just drive in the night alone. And sometimes I just move. And then I parked somewhere around that market side. And I was looking at someone. Just passing. And the Lord was telling me something about that guy. And the Lord was telling me, that guy going. I just saw the guy just moving. And he said, that guy, the devil has rubbish that guy. True story. And that in this guy's destiny, he was supposed to be the first preacher in his entire lineage. And I saw the boy moving with all this these rough and scattered boys around and I was just looking I said my God if your life does not have a message that gives God glory you will beg Satan to come he will run Satan a demon goes to a wilderness and because there's nothing in that wilderness that has God's assignment the demon casts itself out of the wilderness back to a human being that God can use remember Jesus said when a spirit leaves a man it goes to a wilderness he didn't find anything in that wilderness that is pro God and he left it back said I want the man because God can still use him I can tell you why Satan is threatened by everything around you your worship does something to him your commitment does something to him when satan comes and sees our little children hearing the word of the lord he says what can i do to this family to stop them from coming for koinonia and the easiest way is can i cripple their finances because if there is no money there's no food to eat there's no transport and if there's no transport there will be argument between daddy and mommy you see that wise plan all of a sudden you find out that something that would have worked does not work again and he steps back and allows you to blame yourself and while the children are suffering 
He said, sorry, it's time for koinonia. I said, koinonia what? And the devil said, that's it. Mission accomplished. It was never about money. That's why a lot of people say, why is it that unbelievers who don't love God, they are getting rich? What in their life threatens Satan? It's not about, I mean, look, if you think it's about money and tea and bread and cars, no, sir. Satan was willing to give it to Jesus. He said, Jesus, why go the long route? Just bow to me. I will give you this. Meaning, if Satan, if Jesus bowed to Satan, all of a sudden, even Caesar will be dethroned. And Jesus could go and sit down. And Satan doesn't mind. Provided you are my boy, enjoy everything. You never, the devil will never allow you to hold the hands of God and hold the hands of the blessing. He will say, choose one. Hold the blessing and leave God. Or hold God and leave the blessing. The miracle service says you can hold both. That's why we're here tonight. Yes, sir. That you can say, I can still serve God and pay my siblings' school fees because of the blessing of the Lord. I can still serve God and I don't need to go and collect any charm, yet I will prophesy to nonsense and cast out any demon. You see that? Listen, you are here tonight. I'm announcing to you very straight up what we are here for. We are not here to waste our time. We are here to stand in agreement with God. I have seen how people in ignorance allow the devil to make nonsense out of their lives. Choose between raising a godly family or not getting married. Choose between being a very wealthy man or a pastor. Hello? Choose between being the first graduate from your village or being a popular musician. Anything that you can use to give God glory is what Satan is looking for. He will find you. He will haunt you. And if you do not understand the systems of the kingdom, he will make sure that he makes nonsense out of your life. And listen, the moment he sees that your health and vitality and energy has been committed unto God, he will now find a particular disease and program it across your lineage, not you. If you have headache, that means it may just be that you need you just need some time to rest. Satan is too wicked to just give you a headache. Satan wants to program something. You heard that, dear lady? Cancer in um, the grandmother, just like faith can be transferred. So you program it in a way that a young lady is just 35, 36, and all of a sudden she's feeling, what is this? Ah, mama died of cancer. Now I'm having cancer. Tomorrow another person has cancer. Those people don't need healing. They need deliverance. It looks like it's healing. Ask Jesus, woman, thou art loose first. When you are loose, then he laid hands on her. He said, now you, your body can participate. But the real thing is the bondage in the spirit. Are we together now? Yes. Anything you see in your family that is not only you that is suffering, you need to stand for them today. Oh. If you are the only one having it, it may just be your not understanding, your this and that, but provided you are not the only one. No. Your grandmother was raped by a stupid man. Your mother was raped by a stupid man. You, you were raped by a stupid man. Must you wait until your daughter is raped? You stand up and say, in the name of Jesus. Someone paid your grandmother's dowry and ran away. They paid your mother's dowry and ran away. Now, somebody is wanting to pay your dowry and, and run away. You stand and say, Lord, this must end. Look, let me tell you, nothing changes until men get angry enough to say, Lord, it must stop. Are we together? Yes, it must stop. How about finances? Look at me. There are some of you here, I don't mean to insult you and I don't mean to embarrass you, but let me tell you the truth. Until God does something to your hand, 
money will never stay in your hand i'm not talking about money you can be as intelligent as whatever i'm telling you it takes more than a good transaction to keep this thing because money like a human being has a spirit a soul and a body the spirit of money is mammon or the holy spirit there has to be a controlling factor the soul of money is the 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 intellectual system that brings the exchange the body of money is the physical thing you are holding so if all you are holding is just the physical thing you are a joker there is a spirit that can call what is in your hand and it will leave you it's true so the devil sees that this family wants to call upon the name of the lord and make sure that everybody remains poor can i tell you this and i don't mean to insult you but more than 60 percent of the people seated here your major prayer point corporately as a family is oh god let your heavens be open so that your supplies can come there may be other things but you will prefer supplies a thousand times than your leg that is paining you to be to be fine there is an agenda i've shared with you my vision i will continue to share it years ago i was praying i think i was uh, i can't remember what was happening and then my my ceiling just disappeared i didn't see a building again and the next thing i looked and i saw a giant creature mighty creature the eyes as big as the head of a man and then it was it looked like a dinosaur but the tail had its own life meaning you could disconnect the tail from the body and it would still be in existence and he was just fuming with red eyes looking at me and saying so you think you can bring god's people into abundance that was the end that was when i agreed that prosperity is spiritual if all you have is a contract you are joking if all you have is a shop well done but you are in trouble if all you have is a good business you heard the testimony of this dear um wonderful man that came from koza that just shared here now estates and everything just given no it's not just a man that gave him there is a spirit behind it you need to be empowered to fail i hope you know that when you are failing consistently there is an anointing making that happen an anointing is simply an empowerment everybody hates you you are supposed to bless me as soon as i come you hate me i now go here and i'm too late it's not normal when the coincidences are too accurate there is a spirit making it happen someone calls you and says, please come let me give you something to pay the rent of your family the moment that statement happens the devil makes sure that the man receives a call that is an emergency call are you seeing that now and he leaves the office you arrive the office you find out the door is locked he says if the young man comes just give him two thousand to go back it's a lie the man did not leave something happened there is a spirit behind that operation how many of you have gone to to seek people over something that is so simple maybe just a signature and it will take two weeks three weeks you believe it's normal and then sometimes a man of god may pray for you and speak and you go back and the person who should not be there in the afternoon is now there he was not there an angel kept him there this is how this kingdom operates your destiny helper the destiny helper of your family can be two blocks away from you but because there is no spiritual connection my brother and my sister you can stay 15 years whereas the person ordained by god to lift you is just two blocks you will go to america and return back like a thief you will go to uk and return back like somebody that god hates but the day god decides to locate you you will be surprised is god speaking to us that's why we're here tonight 
You can be a man of God and like the gentleman who listened to discerning the body. Probably God has been telling you, look, your ministry will never grow until you receive a word of impartation and prophecy. But you'll be surprised how you'll be planning for five years. I will come for koinonia. You will now say next week. You will say, Kai, uh, ah, I'm feeling cold. Let me just relax. As soon as you want to travel, your sister will just say, ah, I just came on break. Let me tell you, all those acting is a lie. But there's something about the will of man. The day you stamp your feet and say today, I name today as my day of breakthrough. The Bible said today if you hear his voice, every day becomes your today until the day your faith says no tomorrow again. It has to be today. Are we together? So tonight, I don't want you to sit down and waste your time. You are hearing people testify. My brothers and my sisters, I tell you by the grace of God, there is enough grace and power to turn your life to bring any it's not very difficult no it's just your connection stop the arguments the war that is happening in your head can god do this you can't leave lagos leave the east leave the north and come and sit down you are wondering you believe that god brought you to waste your time no sir no sir i tell you in a moment in a twinkling of an eye oh can can the hepatitis go can this go? We are talking God here. We are not talking the, the chief consultant of a, a, a hospital. The God of heaven. Can that yoke go? We are nine people in our family apostle. Nobody has a job. It's not about the job. The devil has seen that in the job of those nine people is the bread of maybe 30 children. Those nine people, the money from those nine people will empower a church to preach and save somebody who will become a mighty man and for the sake of that mighty man those nine people will remain poor it's not about the family hallelujah if satan had his way he will kill me crumble this ministry make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone if he can do that he can beat his chest and say I've tried ah but there's a song that says Satan shame unto you you know the song don't sing it oh <laughs> we make our boast in the Lord in the next few minutes we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place let me tell you first of Octo October We'll let, we'll let the devil know what is in Nigeria. He has tasted what is in America, what is in Russia, what is in this. And then you see your life change. A miracle is a wonder. That, that the limit. Oh, hold his hands. Try to stop him. Two of you. You know that game they used to play? That you try. Oh, yeah. Do it now. You are, uh, don't, no, don't, don't draw him too much. Sorry. You are not very kind. Now, watch this. Are you seeing that now? This guy can be growing old every year. You are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life. Because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise. Let me tell you my assignment. This is me now coming into this equation. My, my assignment is not to cut what is there. My assignment is to carry this like this. This one. Because, you see... I can cut what is there and pass. You can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go. He's going to hold you and say, come back. Apostle has gone. So the, the job has not been done. My assignment by the grace of God is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way. One, that's number one. That's not all. Then my assignment is to turn you to the direction. That's where prophecy is powerful. And then turn what would have come to you from that delay if i leave you like this you are not oppressed but you are you still don't have breakthrough you are free from oppression but you have not entered your inheritance so you can't testify but whatever that is when it comes to you and you go to it and then i leave you my job is to and and the thing is that 
all these things happen through words the word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance and then by next week you are coming with an employment letter and you are on your knees saying god what is this what is this then two weeks later five people all barren in your family are saying ah i i i think i'm pregnant then you just remember ah what has happened a man of god that you have space for 500 people in your church and yet you see 10 people 15 during a convention they grow to 30 by the time service is finishing there's 20 back and all of a sudden something happens and one spectacular miracle happens by the next sunday in a way that even the critics say i'm here in your church today to watch what happened and you said i never believed i would buy canopy for an overflow but the anointing god brought you here to change your life listen to me i repeat god brought you here to change your life he didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia no this is a miracle service a miracle service is not a teaching service i will take out time and teach you but this is a miracle service there are some of you you may not be sick you may not be oppressed but you need to carry something that ends every argument result my brothers and my sisters is the end of every argument i can lie to you or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square and i can argue because i'm not seeing it but if you bring out a pocket square and i see it this is the end of the argument it would be stupid to still argue at that point you will let everybody know you are a madman this is the result could it be that you have been talking too much let the anointing talk I, I will i will build the house i know god is faithful i will do this and god is saying no moses only spoke small and then the rod kept talking you have been talking forever some of you you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that god will give you you stood before the red sea for forever it refused to part but god brought you here to carry something that you go back with it and it will shock you my brothers and my sisters that that red sea will part and you will call your family and say finally we've been wondering how to build a bridge but we found an easier road that the river can part tonight i want you to know that god wants to do this number one because he loves you but number two there is a dimension of glory only your result can bring to him don't ever let anyone fool you hearing is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 this is how i am glorified galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says and they glorified god in me not that they glorified god on the throne they looked at my life they saw that god can do this you no father no mother who gave you the job who did you know from the top you're a man of god I used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher and you say my brother is what god can do if it is the lord's doing it is marvelous in our eyes for as long as your life is ordinary your ministry is ordinary your business is ordinary you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain let me tell you god takes away shame from our lives by giving us results did you hear what i said god does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody he does something in your life and he does it in a way like julius berger will build a house and put b god will do it and put his signature they'll say no this business cannot be human i hear testimonies of people every time the things that god does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open oh 
don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time whether you are outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online whatever nation you are following just listen i believe him i may not claim i know everything about him but this god when god decides to stand up from his throne he said now arise from your throne god can stand up have you heard that the earth is his footstool so when he decides to stand up and say who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming the bible says even the mountains keep like lambs my god is mighty our own belief many times is the reason why god does not move we come and sit down and pile up some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful but you are there wondering can you move oh god concerning my money can you move concerning my money can you move concerning my health can you move concerning my wife and god is saying yes i can i am willing and i'm able and then the devil comes very quickly and says if god could move did the man of god pray for you in by march didn't your pastor fast seven days for you and you say it's true that's the devil tonight your faith must be open your faith must rise to the heavens to say lord i don't want to leave this place just knowing i'm blessed i want to know what happened to me i want to hold a substance god is speaking to someone here this this sharing the grace and say ah were you blessed oh my god miracle service was powerful that's not a blessing no you can hold on to something and know that i left this place what happened the pain is gone i left this place what happened that before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting god for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of god touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you're saying my god i've gotten this elisha knew when he got it elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the lord god of elijah and the river parted you are trusting god for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night i couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if i ask this gentleman to give me water i'm expectant i'm not expecting a handkerchief i'm expecting water anything i see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from god thank god for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint lord i left lagos this morning and i came here i left bielsa and i came here my car almost had an accident lord i would have been in a convention now as a man of god i left it to be here i'm looking for something let something come from heaven and your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven and all of a sudden boom i tell you in one minute I remember many years ago when i was standing in the rain had bonke crusade there were crowds of people like this i didn't know what who wore whether you wore red or green or blue my eyes were fixed lord what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him what kind of man is this that no one criticizes him Abba, i didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone no when it came i knew that i got it i knew that i got it listen my brothers and my sisters you can know that the load has been lifted you can know that the prayer has been answered you can know that the project is a done deal are we together 
the grace is here more than available for you and whilst we begin to pray don't just watch others receive be sensitive you are the one who knows what you are here for are we together in one minute i'd like you to open your mouth and cry mention specifically why are you here talk to the lord please pray please pray pray with all your heart Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this love. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family that pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch a second touch over my family my loved ones are not born again Lord I can't watch them go to hell like this Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burdens. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. 
I will continue to read it for you. Isaiah chapter 61. Please give it to us. The messianic prophecy. Jesus' own manifesto. He's saying this is what I came to do. Isaiah 61. It says the spirit of the Lord. We are reading from verse 1 to 4. Is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beautiful ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. For And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repair waste cities, he says. The desolations of many generations. I like you to pray. Whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family, insist that tonight is the night when it will happen. Overflow one, pray. Overflow two, overflow three by the roadside. Those following from around the world, open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord just showed me something like a train. You know, a speed train, not like we have it now. Just like a train, just pass like this. And I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed. Listen. We are going to pray now. And like I always say, you'll find out when I pray, you're going to see people running around in and out. Please just guide them and bring them out. Ushers, whether you are an usher or not, the ushers can only do so much. I want to pray. Once I pray that prayer, listen, please, I don't want you to get, listen, please, hold on. I don't want, it, the idea is not about people falling down, carrying them. Please let your spirit be open. Be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of those people at Overflow 1. A lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer. I in overflow one, the overflow outside. You see, let me tell you this. When a man, listen, when a man does not have speed in his life, you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do. It, it takes more than just power, right? Please help those in overflow one, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at overflow one outside. Now, listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing 
on one leg. Am I moving? Yes, sir. But when will you arrive there? The pressure that you will mount on this leg, it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it. And so God, when he wanted Elijah to move, because he had already been delayed, the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is I'm ready to shift you that within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done. Three days. This powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to shout Jesus, not you now. I'm the one shouting Jesus. I'm going to shout it and at the third time, I tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of God. Let me have those people out. Lord, you are bringing speed to your people. And I know that there are angels all around. It's time to change people's levels. And even as you have instructed me, oh God, as I declare that name that is above every other name, I pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position, that in the name of the God of heaven, an anointing will shift that person into his destiny. Jesus, that's number one. Mm. Jesus, that's number two. Get ready now. Shabalakata. Jesus, let that anointing right now. I shift men. Speed, Kabarakatosha. Speed to your life. Oh God, let every delay be broken now. I command the spirit of delay. Be broken. Speed. I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help that woman. Please help that mama there. Please help them whether you are an usher or not. Speed! Speed! In the name of Jesus, I command everything that has refused to move in your life I move it by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. The Holy Ghost is moving you. Except this prayer is not for you. There is an anointing that must shift you. Must shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord shift them to their destinies. Please, you will need to help the ushers. Whether you are an usher or not, just, just help them. There's only so much we can do. There's no power that keeps you down. This is miracle service. Lift your hands, please. I'm praying. For some of you now, it's the same prayer but it's no longer just for you you may not be experiencing it but your family needs speed the anointing now is moving from individuals to families lord where are the families that need the shift of the holy ghost i decree and declare right now i speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace families be shifted now speed 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 I decree it, I declare it. I decree it and I declare it. Oh, 
No more delay. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this row. I stretch my hands right now. I move people. God is moving people here. I decree, I declare, I decree, I declare, I decree, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it must work for you. I shift you. No more delay in your life. This lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of jesus now all those in front I'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three I speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 I lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your yes I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the Lord is saying that he's shifting things I'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken let that chain I command that devil I'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of Jesus hallelujah be sensitive I want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold I give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but I want to pray a dangerous prayer I'm seeing snakes this is what I'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names I declare every spirit that has caged any family here I decree and I declare right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus and at the count of three everyone shout Jesus as you shout Jesus I see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus, I crush Satan. I crush his works inside, outside. I command every power, every force. Go now. Go now. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. Just give me the volume. I'm seeing fire by my left and right. Just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now. As I'm walking here. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil. You must go now. You must go now. You must go now. I declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. As soon as I come close to you, that fire, and there is an anointing. You can't stand it. It's impossible. As soon as I come close to you, as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. 
I'm coming this way. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming this area. This direction, let them go now. Release them. I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them now, lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus, lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I'd like you to pray. Everyone pray. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Now listen. Overflow one, listen to me. Listen, you don't have to touch me. Please, you don't have to touch me. But in the name of Jesus, hear me. The Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone. As soon as I pass here, I don't have to come close to you. You are going to feel fire all, all over. That fire, that will be the end of it. You must testify. Right now, I stretch my hands. Right, right now. It's over, over now. Shakos kata adika Eketo sata rikata Embre keto sheketa Akato shekriaka Manta prekotos Let them go, let them go Let them go, let them go Let them go now The spirit of sorcery I curse it now The spirit of witchcraft I curse it now Please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves Go, go, be free I command that power By fire by fire, by fire, it leaves you now. Those of you here, I want you to lift your hands. Overflow two. Overflow two, lift your hands. Let me go to the front there. Enough is enough. As I pass this place, listen. I want you to be very sensitive. There is a strong anointing tonight. Overflow two. Please help your neighbors. I'm only going to pass here right there. As soon as I come close to you, except God is not God. If there is any force holding you, holding your life and your ministry, it must go right now. Right now, in Jesus' name, be free. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I command those devils. Go, 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 go. Let them go, go. Go now, release them, release them, release them. Every covenant, release them. I break that power now, 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 now. Be broken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen, I didn't know we have an extra overflow here. I want to pray for those by the side here. As I stretch my hands to you, please don't waste your time. I'm seeing fire already. Here, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, those of you by the roadside, one, two, let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you, please help them so they don't injure themselves. I declare, I decree, and I declare, you are free. Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of three, overflow 3, all of you shout Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, bring them out. Makapos, kapakatos, ekreket, 
take it take a back a back shepherd a dose every yoke every force every operation of darkness bring them out ala back a dose kata 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 shakata kata i'm seeing chains on people's feet chains 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 be broken now 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 chains be broken now hallelujah bring them out overflow three lift your hands i'm still praying listen i'm seeing i'm seeing patterns something that is not just happening to you alone happening to your father your mother as soon as i pray now i'm seeing fire all over this place anyone under that case you must be free now at the count of three anyone holding any pattern any generational thing in the name that is above all names at the count of three one two three shout jesus bring them out that devil must let you go today my god look at what god is doing in overflow three look at what god is doing in this place hallelujah listen to me the lord is showing me i'm coming back but i don't know why god is 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 on the case of overflow three the lord is showing me some of you i'm seeing you are climbing a ladder but that ladder breaks down and brings you down you see things as if it's supposed to happen but a force draws you back the moment someone wants to lift you you will have a dream in the night and in that in that dream someone will come to sleep with you or something will happen right now at the count of three shout jesus i command those devils one two three let them go now let them go now total emancipation hallelujah now now all those who are under the anointing here outside i pass a decree that every power that has held you i speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah i'm inside this place now and i'm standing in the spirit i've not started impartation yet but the lord is showing me the number 12 and the lord is saying there are 12 people here there is a strong call upon your life there is a mighty anointing lord where are they Shakatos kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos ketekekata. Shaprakata. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the spirit is still locating men i don't know why god is talking about ministry the call don't run away from the call don't run from the call a ministry of signs and wonders the lord is telling someone you are the liberator of your family a ministry of signs 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 
there are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders hallelujah main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing i'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium and i stretch my hands from here it doesn't matter what overflow you just be sensitive to what god is doing main auditorium i'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive i decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen i'm seeing oh my god the lord is opening my eyes here i'm i'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father i don't know if i'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of god i don't know you lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you now huh? it will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus, I break that force now. I break that force now. I break that force now. Testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah i'm praying listen i stretch my hands towards you and i speak i don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of jesus christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I will do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. 
receive it now receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ It came back a touch. Let her go now. Out. Out. Now. Now. This lady wearing a red hair tie. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a grace that is coming. Let that anointing come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that anointing come upon you. hallelujah overflow three i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of god will come upon you and god is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact i see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I release you my dear hold my hands to you I'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life I decree and I declare it over your life I stand by the anointing and I pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of Jesus Emeka, who is Emeka? Emeka, I'm hearing a name Emeka, Overflow 3 here. I'm just talking to Overflow 3 people. Emeka, Emeka, please quickly, please quickly, don't waste that time. Where is that gentleman? What's your name? I want to pray, what do you do? I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place, you came for NYC. I want to pray lift your hands because i'm seeing look at me the lord is giving you the grace for wealth huh i want you to believe it but every prosperity that does not have an assignment to end up destroying the people you love jesus with all your heart i want to pray for you it will surprise you the way god will begin to turn things around in your life father change this gentleman's story in the name of jesus forever overflow three i'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people i will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh god four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy All of you open your mouth and begin to pray everything you desire overflow three open your mouth and decree open your mouth and decree i'm seeing an anointing around here who is that person i stretch my hands i'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as i'm standing here father let the chains be broken now the anointing of the spirit find that person let the chains be broken right now right now right now right now right now right now be broken now Hallelujah. 
please everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray hold on there's someone here the lord is saying i'm rolling away your shame i'm seeing light as i was just passing i just saw light two people let the anointing find those people now two people right now i decree overflow two right now in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of jesus christ who is gabriel 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 i'm hearing a name who is gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around uh, where are you coming from i want to pray for you you love jesus what is is it oleku or aleku what is that huh huh where are you from benway state you are from benway state this is what has tied down your life and your family i want to pray for you i'm not a herbalist there eh? father in the name of jesus let this gentleman be free right now i command that devil to leave you now just keep him there in the name of jesus these two people this gentleman you yes and the lady by you come quickly please low 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory what do you do my friend you're a student you love jesus i want to pray for you huh yes, are you together yes sir because i saw light on husband and wife yes please, sir. well i'm not going to discuss your issue now but two of you need deliverance eh you love jesus but you need serious deliverance based on what i'm seeing now huh you are not husband and wife yet but i'm seeing a lot of stories father in the name of jesus look at me you're going to be very wealthy but the first thing you need to edit are your friends huh hear what i'm telling you huh my, uh, my sister you know what i'm saying right huh so your friends huh confirm sir listen to me you are not truly born again if your friends don't change hear it from me all this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends if if i am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together i'm close to a drunkard that means i can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by is that true so my friend you love god there eh? but you see um look at what i'm doing one leg in one leg out huh don't be embarrassed when i make the altar call you need to run and come quickly jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to just for no 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 no. Let, let's take god serious and take him look what i see my friend i see god turning your life in a way that will surprise you but friends and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone it's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of Ahitophel God may be calling you to a great ministry but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus if you are under the yoke of wrong friends I stand and I speak right now may the Lord set you free this night in the name of Jesus Christ my dear there is favor on your life but it's not speaking at all hmm? you are a nice lady come I'm looking at you I'm seeing a young lady but I'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh. let me tell you my brothers and my sisters 
wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married i will now advise him and say mr man you married a witch oh you do you know what it means to be a witch so god is you see that god is is balancing a lot of things in our lives let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision i already know what is happening it is true that the lady needs help but it doesn't mean imagine that i look at this lady now and say my you're a witch no this is a lovely she has a beautiful heart i already see by the spirit very beautiful heart but it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression it takes the power of god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves so many of you are here you find out for instance the moment you enter a relationship come for instance as you mean i enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me have you seen that happen i'm doing well in business but just because i married this lady i start going down and now you meet a man of god and if the man if you're in ministry here please be careful you have to trust god for grace to be balanced are we together i can now look at this lady and say ah your wife is the reason behind your failure um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is bring, because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah. i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus I command this devil I'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now. My dear, I set you free and I open the door of favor for you right now. Please, everybody, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I've not seen this in a long time. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State. Benway State now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is In the name of Jesus. The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke complete stroke the devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe but we're going to destroy that now in the name of jesus hold my hands i decree and declare be free now by the power of the holy spirit madam i don't know you but ah you please come ah. this is your first time coming i need to pray for you what do you do ma you are jobless ma Huh? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed I hope I'm not embarrassing you I want to pray for you I give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you I lay my hands right now and I declare I'm seeing chains leaving you I command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Hold on. Hold my hands. 
in the name of Jesus Christ I open that closed door now I open that closed door now by the power of the Holy Ghost please open your mouth and begin to pray everyone open your mouth and pray the Lord is asking me to stand here just here just to stand here because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here here and here right now here and here I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit every planting that is not of God I uproot it now I uproot it now I uproot it now lift your voice and begin to pray please lift your voice and begin to pray in the name of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray hallelujah praise the lord i know our time is gone we are going to be very fast sir you're welcome sir can i pray for you sir why are they here priest you sir you are a priest I served, my father served and died. And died. Sorry, where are you from, sir? You know? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus' name. Say it in Jesus' name. My life is about to change. Say it again. Say in Jesus' name. Reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name. Sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man. But I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you? Your dad? Your father is a priest. Currently? Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i set you free now be gone now out let it leave her i'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus Kai, jesus power is really super power really super power that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can live out now everything that is not of god our father is a priest or not her uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes you are receiving the healing anointing now huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grant him access to the healing anointing, your healing power. Now, oh dear, our time is gone. This is, sometimes I honestly wish that this is, because there are so many things I see, but we have to work with time. This lady, you, come. Hurry up now, please, come. Uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with god your heart with him your heart with him hold my hands father in the name of jesus i take away distraction from her life right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i take away distraction I take away distraction. Kai. We have we've not even prayed for the sick girl. My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. 
your life is about to change. Come. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. I'm here with my husband. Husband, yeah. where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. <laughs> Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No. We came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God, but at the same time, I do business. But it's not Sir, working. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing, you will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come oh, 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 oh. you sir i want to pray for you ah. madam i'm looking at you you're a nice woman but i'm seeing you carrying a load huh i'm seeing you like this and i'm seeing a load on your head and if i don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir? are you new here by elsa by elsa hmm. all the way i think we should appreciate them <laughs> what do you do sir my pastor you're a pastor you are in ministry both of you evangelist. my ministry is separate your ministry is separate evangelist. but both of you came from yes, bielsa came you are an evangelist yes. you pastor a church yes. how long has it been okay i was uh, about four years now in bielsa but you were somewhere yes i was in abuja you were in abuja yes. and then you left abuja and went to bielsa do you know what happened Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you're an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month and then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio. And then oh, you TV. do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things. One, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady, this one, this one, this lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator, the same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight 
evangelism, I hold my hands. Father, this is a dear woman of God, all the way from Bielsa. I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit and I declare fresh anointing, fresh dimensions in the Spirit. And I pray, Madam, the Lord is asking me to pray for your finances. Seriously, for your finances. And then the Lord is saying, I should tell you to pray for faithful workers. I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. You carry that grace right now, madam. My God will honor you. Ah! In the name of Jesus. Supernatural grace. Drink of that wine, sir. I'll pray for you. The grace for leadership. The grace for finance. But I'm... Ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do. What else do you do? I manufacture paint. You manufacture paint. That's right. Sir, what am I seeing? This is somebody... It's, it's not directly the government. But this is somebody that is connected to the government. The Lord is going to connect him to you. It's, it has something to do with supplies. That thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you. Please write it. You will see it happen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. I stretch my hands. Drink of that wine. That anointing. Drink of that wine. You will never be the same. I stretch my hands. I take away every limitation from your life. And I decree and I declare your life turns around from today. In the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Goodness. 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 Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. Hey, I see you will help my house in the dream. You will pray for me here. HIV. In the name of Jesus, be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus, go now. In the name of Jesus, you go and write your test, bring back your results. Go. Listen, I, can we? Yeah. The time is gone. Oh dear. You see how sometimes this thing, we are really constrained. That's why we do our best. The healing anointing is already flowing. God wants to heal. Maybe I'll just pray. I'll just pray for the sick from here. We'll do it that way. Right? But make no mistakes. Just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean I want to pray for you now. We'll take a few testimonies now. In the last three or four months, I have seen, I don't know why this happens, but I have seen a dimension of the healing power of God. Very creative miracles. So I want to pray. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hand right now on your body, quickly. I want to pray for you now. Please believe God for a miracle. Now, this is what will happen. Overflow. One, two, three. The roadside. And then those following us online. Our time is gone. But as soon as I pray for you now. I pray for you. The power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies. But since we have chosen this method now. As soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that. Um, how many of you brought your prayer request? Let me see. Did you bring your prayer request? Okay, ushers, this is what you, I want you to do. PR department, help them. Protocol, please help them. While I'm praying for the sick, I think we can do it too. Your prayer request, please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray 
Jesus. A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in Jesus name be healed my God the power of God is touching people already be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of jesus now i command every blood condition be healed from it now in jesus name peptic ulcer the lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps i command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a number of people having um hepatitis the lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the holy ghost eye conditions in the name of jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands be healed right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are Zzz, that sound the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether i mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you i stretch my hands and i declare be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before i started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside i'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our facebook page or you can find a way to post it i want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and i'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly god bless you check yourself quickly koinonia are you celebrating jesus the lord is touching people show them where to come 
Look at look at God touching people already. Please make your way. Make your way. The power of God has touched you. Those outside overflow one, overflow two. Clear the way for them. Just come. You can stand on the queue there. And let's have one or two testimonies. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating miracles here? Yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on, you... just a moment. Please, all make sure if, if, if your prayer request has not been collected, please, I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can you, you... sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If, as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god the... god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's healed now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of god told me about it in 2012 and i prayed but i was hearing those b sounds and i don't hear really which of them put your hand there now in the name of jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes also you mentioned also how long yes. okay where are you from kaduna, sir. kaduna state yes, sir. that's where you are from yes, your state of origin um, no biologically biologically where no, are you from i'm from each but i got i mean i'm from state of there's a reason why I said this. There's a lot. You don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Where? Eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you, eh? father help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman but there is a lot i'm seeing in your life i crush the hand of darkness over your life now and i declare be free in jesus also, name koinonia you are pain. not celebrating you are so used to miracles in this place he was feeling the May pain but you. as you prayed for him it left it's gone completely how long Since july july in the name of jesus christ may the lord perfect you Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the lower, lower back pain. It affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain? Yes, it's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. It never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. Ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises, it's a wise baguette. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two. Sorry. Overflow two. I meant to say. Ah, 
Look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say, She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus name. She's had serious um, back pain. That back she pain. Had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today they asked you to ride a gone. horse. Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? Or just advise us? <laughs> don't, don't listen. She's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. It's amazing how you come for koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry, do your horse thing, eh? I'm just happy that you are healed. So you can go and ride your horse now for fun. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected. In Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. And I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Where eh? Debbie, it's not the this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they'll hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying He is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but He is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The Spirit entered me when He spake unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family in the name of jesus yes go ahead she's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain how Came old are you now pain this evening sir how old are you now 21 21 and she's had severe menstrual pain yes and she came here with the pain today but the don't pain believe is that thing oh in the name of jesus i cancel it forever amen. say amen by the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's... The heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back, eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Eh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card, eh? Yes, Send it to your mother to bless her okay. and watch what happens in your life. Yes. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic healed. ulcer. How long? Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Feel, press it press it any pain no pain gone completely no. come on koinonia may god forgive you may god you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that god bless you he had a sharp pain in his left side okay you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it 
It happened once, August, August 26. You just slumped like that? Yes, I was falling and then my brother caught me. Come. What if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire? The devil will just wait until you are crossing a bridge. Then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. In Jesus' name, I set you free. You are free now. You are free forever. In Jesus' name. Back pain disappeared. He's had back pain for a long time. Back pain, gone. sir. Yes. In Jesus' name, let it go and go forever. Never to return again. In Sometimes the two eyes go blind, other times only the right one go blind, but now he's totally healed, he can see with both eyes. Have you gone to the hospital for this? But sometimes you just go blank like that. Come, in the name of Jesus, put your hands on your eyes. I decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. He's had back pain for a long time, he's healed now. Back pain. You see, God is, when there are messages behind miracles, you see that God is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation. It's not just the bones are what give structures to a person, doctors tell us. That means that by this miracle, God is speaking through it, right? Like he's doing the miracle of Ezekiel 37. The bones coming back. It took the bones to come back for an army to rise. Therefore, I'm praying that everything that is out of order out of joint out of place in your life by the anointing that is characterized by these miracles let there be a restoration of it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you yes please go ahead so back pain he came here with waist pain sorry waist pain he came here with how long serious pain. 2014 and now he's gone. try to turn it's gone he Completely. squatted for me and um, no squat you've not you did it for him yes. you didn't do it for me ah, <laughs> it looks like a footballer gone and gone forever in jesus name apostle you mentioned so he's laughing on, until he fell under the anointing a buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear yes, oh okay you mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sound all through but as you mentioned it it's gone the now buzzing stuff what's your name sir hear. since 2014 for the past four years it's gone completely the left ear give totally jesus praise healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of God, never, never, never returns to you again. Apostle, her left hand, the middle finger, she couldn't bend it at all. She has gone for treatment. She couldn't bend it Which at one? all. Which one? The middle finger. Longest How long? Last year. Why couldn't you bend it? I don't know. I bend it now. Let them see it. Look at this. And then as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain, she also had, as you were praying right now, she came for the testimony. The menstrual pain also left. Let it go back to hell Amen. and never come to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had weak. Your father's salvation. Ah, we are experts in praying for salvation here. You need to find out how God saves people here. When you, it's not that God saves them. It's how he saves them. That is a sign and a wonder. I was preaching the series on um, reality of heaven and hell. And there was one malam. He came for koinonia. He was seated outside. And while I was praying, he, he was studying his, 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 his let me study your IRK or what? He was studying something like that. And then all of a sudden, he just, I mean, koinonia just disappeared. And he saw a vision of heaven outside, overflow one. And the Lord Jesus was talking to him. That's how the guy got born again. Remember years ago. The gentleman that came here, that gentleman that belonged to a cult group, you, you know the, the guy, that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some harbourless place. As soon as I climbed here, all that the guy saw was, I hope he's still in Christ. But as far as, <laughs> yes, the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power. And so when he was here and saw power, he said, ah, there's power here. Whether it's demonic power or God's power, there's really power here. In the name of Jesus, there is grace that saves men. We declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had witness who was ill. When we take the last person, that would be also that we can... Yes, In overflow three, witness overflow three. for the pain. So as you went outside and you ministered, ah, she fell under God the power God visited overflow three today. Oh, this miracle service was for overflow three. As she fell under the power, she stood up perfectly whole. Completely. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. 
Yes, please, go ahead. She said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine. But and as you prayed, come, my dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, it goes. See, I can, her body is even hot. You can see that her body she is ill, cough, she, but everything is. In the name of Jesus Christ, it goes forever. Next person, okay. please. He's had um, back pain for a while. During the seven days fasting program, yes. he was healed, but yesterday the symptoms came back. But right now he has been permanently healed. what was the issue sir back pain back pain come you see that you see the, the thing again i'm telling you miracles are messages in jesus name back pain goes and goes forever yes she's please. had serious kata since 2010 that lasted for three years is, is that kata and came back again but right now she's completely healed completely healed put your hand on your chest lord jesus let this lady be perfected now perfected forever I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost forever healed forever perfected and the Lord is saying I should tell you he's bringing restoration restoration to your life in Jesus now, name. Now he's had back pain since 2006 and then hmm. as he sat there and you mentioned the case he believed he was healed but the symptoms were still there. Yes. While he stood up from there to come here the symptoms disappeared that's number because one because god will always honor faith come my friend then the second thing was that he had this chest pain he had done his ecg scan and they told him they were going to place him on hypertension drugs but while he stood here the pains disappeared the heaviness left hypertension back to sender back to the devil that sent it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen yes please. her grandfather died of this ulcer pain her father has it her sister has it and then she's also seeing the symptoms but tonight when the case was mentioned she was completely healed you see this these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person grandfather died of it you said father has it father has it mother sister has, sister has it, it. Yes. aunties yes most of my aunties my my younger sister my dad just all of us like where are you from Delta State, in the name of Jesus, a beautiful lady, the devil should not rubbish your destiny. I cancel this yoke, not just over your life, but over your family. In the name of Jesus, it's gone now and gone forever. In Jesus you mentioned name. back pain, Apostle. She came for personal prayers last week, just on her own personal um, prayers. As she was going back, she felt like an arrow was shot in her back. Since last week, she has been having that pain, but as you mentioned it, Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Yes. She please. had this pain in her chest and her stomach. She suspected it Our was lovely ulcer. Osha, you can imagine how hard, how wonderful. Okay. She was suspecting it was ulcer, but she has never gone for diagnosis. But as you mentioned, the heaviness and the pain, Put everything your hand just on your left chest. in her stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that that devil goes back to hell in the name of Jesus give Jesus praise now everyone please stand everyone please stand oh they're still he's had a very mysterious headache heaviness that just disappeared now as you mentioned the case. in the name of Jesus come my friend it never returns to you again every other person that has been touched by the power of God we declare perfection for your body now hallelujah please I want you to stretch I want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request stretch your hands and I want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Jacos kaparakatosh, embregete kete kete, japos keta braha sagada balada, embra posho do prete kete, ekaro sakatosh kalabos, entaro segete kete kete. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over this request. We decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, let impossible situations please make sure everybody's request is here let impossible situations go please agree by faith as you pray while laying our hands on this request in the name of jesus 
Father, in the name of Jesus, this is a representation of the faith of your people. You are the God that answers prayers. I ask, oh God, that you arise. Arise in power. Arise in majesty. Arise in grace. In the name of Jesus, turn the lives of your people around. Turn the lives of your people around. Turn the lives of your people around. Hallelujah. I stand upon this request prophetically. And I agree with you. For some of you, the things you have written here, the truth is that only God can do them. There's no man born of a woman that can do it. In fact, if you read some of the things for us, even us who God has helped will have to doubt and say, ah, but thank God that the request is unto God. Father, we present before you this request. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies. They are supernaturally turned to testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please stand if you can and receive the last prophecy and impartation. I will continue to speak over your life and I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until, until your life becomes a picture of everything that God has said therefore please I want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit there is a lady you have been seeing you have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams this is almost all most of your dreams that's all you are breastfeeding children you are carrying children you are with babies in the name of Jesus every fraternity every fraternity with the gate of darkness in the name of Jesus I'm praying for those people first I command that devil to leave you now once and for all once and for all hallelujah James chapter 5 please give us verse 15 if you can give us from Amplified James 5 16 we have to really be fast there's a lot of prayer tonight there's a lot of prayer James 5 16 16 16 I like us to read it says confess to one another therefore your faults your slips and false steps and so on and so forth and pray also for one another that you may be healed and restored i want us to read the b part from the ns ready one to read the earnest heartfelt continued prayer of a righteous man does what makes tremendous power available dynamic in its working the bible was teaching us how to pray the kind of prayer that will touch heaven and it's in the character of scripture to use a figure that typifies God's idea of prayer. Then he says, Elijah, in this example, was a man of like passion. And the Bible says he prayed earnestly that there be no rain for a space of three and a half years. Elijah shut the heavens and put the key in his pocket. He said, there shall be no rain except at my word. And then the Bible says when it was time for the rain to fall, right? Elijah began to pray. He prayed the first time, putting his head beneath his knees and he cried and traveled. Let me tell you, the kind of prayer that touches heaven is the kind of prayer where you pray and forget who is by your side. You're not looking at makeup or suits or conscious of whether I'm sweating. No, no, no. It must be heartfelt from the depth of your spirit are we together hannah kept crying every time at shiloh but a time came she prayed a heartfelt prayer the bible says before the altar she poured her soul to
to a point that Eli the prophet said why is this woman drunk how can you come to the altar drunk and he said my lord I am not drunk but a woman that is pouring her soul before God and the spirit of God spoke through the prophet let me tell you something the kind of prayer that shakes heaven is prayer that is heartfelt the way a lot of believers pray you will know that you do not expect an answer are we together yeah you pray with all your heart the bible says jesus prayed at gethsemane it was so heartfelt his sweat was like drops of blood same prayer without changing it three times and he sustained strength from heaven and was ready for the cross are we together are you ready to pray as i mentioned the key will pray and at the end of the fourth key i'll give us some prayer requests and we'll pray heartfelt prayer heartfelt prayer when we say pray you see a lot of people strolling around chewing gums huh you see that kind of prayer let me tell you something i'm not being religious with you there is a law you are contending against forces it's like an aeroplane attempting to ride it must move and the law of aerodynamics must sustain capacity to overcome the law of gravity the flesh has its encumbrances and the moment you begin to pray the flesh will exert a weight upon you but it takes power everybody say power as you generate power in the spirit it's like a flight your flesh is weak you are feeling sleepy but you understand the law of spiritual superiority that as it is in the spirit so it will manifest your spirit is strong but the bible says the flesh is weak it's up to you to yield to the weakness of the flesh and not pray or keep praying you don't receive strength to continue praying it is in the prayer all of a sudden when your flesh is weak have you prayed to a point that you did not even expect you had strength for 10 minutes keep praying as you keep praying, you are weak the devil keeps sending all kinds of thoughts in your mind just keep praying the secret is to continue i tell you there is an escape velocity in the spirit there is a level you will get to that it will no longer be your flesh at that level the spirit of god takes over Lift your voice and pray. Blast in tongues. A heartfelt prayer. Walk around. Don't just sit at your seat strolling carelessly. Oh, we are ascending. We are ascending. We are ascending. In the realm of the spirit. Above and beyond the realm of the limitations of the flesh. I assure you your spirit is willing. I assure you your spirit man is willing. Your spirit man is willing. Your spirit man is willing. Forget about the limitation of the flesh. With time it will bow. With time it must bow. There is a supply of grace and spirit power upon you. Grace to travel. Make it a prosco to parataka. Shakata pakarataka. And grataka taka prakate. The heart felt. Effectual. 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 Ratakata prakate. Shakata prakata kate. Generate power, power, generate power to dislodge every force, generate power to contend with every altar. Generate power to confront gates. Generate power to confront doors. Generate power to force answers. I worship.
worship you with all my heart with all my heart I worship you with all my heart with all my Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. I want to teach you the legal dimension of prayer. Are we together? There is, there is a judicial dimension of prayer. It's the law that governs petitions. Are we together? There is a name that God is called. And prayer activates the operation of that dimension. He is called the judge. Are we together? I want to teach you the legal dimension of prayer. The key to effective prayer, the kind of petition and supplication that will touch heaven is the kind that must be done in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is the access code to the throne room. The access code, the mystery that opens the gates of the throne room is the name of Jesus. John 14, quickly please. John 14 verse 13. The name of Jesus is the access code. There is no other name that can open the heavens. It says, and I, give us in, in um, um, King James, King James please. It says, and whatsoever ye shall ask in your name, in the name of a ministry, it says, whatsoever ye shall ask, for as long as you do it in my name, it says, that will I do. I will supervise, see to it, that because my name is upon it, I will make sure it is answered. That the Father may be glorified whatsoever you ask in my name chapter 16 verse 23 same john 16 verse 23 go ahead and read it is projected inside and outside one to read and in that day ye shall ask me nothing verily verily i say unto you aha uh -huh, whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name he will give it you the name of Jesus is the access code. Are we together? The attention of the Father is only attracted when any man stepping in the name, standing in the office, and upon the strength of that which Christ has done. The name of Jesus, a representation of his finished work and his legal standing before God is the same basis we have. The Bible says, let us therefore come before him boldly. Access the throne of grace boldly. Not in our righteousness. Not based on our goodness. Are we together? But we stand upon the name. The name of Jesus is a representation of all that Christ did. The name of Jesus reminds the Father of the revelation of what Jesus did. Which is a revelation of his love for man. Listen. You will never get anything from God based on your self-righteousness. It's got to be the law of petition is that you must stand in the righteousness of Christ to be heard. Because the Bible says our righteousness is as filthy rags. So we come in his name. Not based on our qualification. Are we together? We are going to pray and say, Father, I make these petitions tonight as touching your righteousness as touching your love as touching your willingness to answer me lift your voice and pray go ahead and pray go ahead and pray the name of jesus
Oh, it's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. It's not in the name of a man. It's not in the name of an idol. Shabakata parada bakata, shakata prekata le bakorotu su. Shabarata kata parada. It's in the name of Jesus. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus, something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus, something Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number three, listen. If you must pray the kind of prayer that heaven will respond to, then that prayer must be in accordance to the will of God. Now, don't play with this. This is where I believe a lot of people get cheated in the ministry of prayer. Their prayer may be heartfelt. Their prayer may be in the name of Jesus, but it's often not in accordance to the will of God. Listen, when you begin to make petitions in the realm of the spirit, imagine yourself standing in a law court. Give us Isaiah 41 verse 21. Listen to what the prophet teaches us about prayer. Isaiah 41 verse 21, please. Everyone, please read. One, two, go. Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, saith the king of Jacob. Why should the door be open to you? Bring forth your strong reason. The prayer of lamentation only gives you a psychological consolation, but I assure you it will not touch heaven. Every challenge in your life is the accuser's voice over your destiny. And if you are to speak, you are standing before that court of justice. Your petition, on what ground should I be blessed? Father, your word says, if I am willing and obedient, I will eat the good of the land. Lord, I am willing and have been obedient to your principles. Therefore, I deserve to eat the good of the land. I place a demand on the strength of this reality. That's how to pray. You don't pray emotional prayer. You don't stand on stage and speak opinions and talk nonsense. The only thing that challenges the voice of the accuser is the word of God which is a testament of his will show me why God must give you a child show me why God must give you a child are we together show me why God must give you a job show me why God must give you a husband because I'm beautiful it's not in the Bible are we together? It's in your brain, but it's not in the Bible. Show me why witchcraft must stop attacking my family. Bring forth your strong reasons. Let me show you one more scripture. I found this today and it blessed me. Isaiah 43 verse 26. Learn this. I'm teaching you the, the legal dimension of prayer. Isaiah 43 verse 26. Please read. One to read. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou on the strength of what we have discussed that ye may be justified. It's your Bible. The word put me in remembrance.
does not mean I have forgotten. Give me a basis to respond upon your life. Like you tell a judge in the constitution subsection this, it says this and that and the judge says this is true. Put me in remembrance. Let us preach together. I'm a judge who is there to protect you. But give me the basis so that I can make that decree. We pray a lot of careless prayer. Prayer that is not word based. If you are a pastor here, don't allow anybody to climb your mic and teach nonsense and teach opinions. It must be on the basis of the word. If we are praying for Nigeria, what is the basis? Just because we want to intercede. It's rubbish. It looks spiritual, but it will not be answered. You see the difference between a shrine, a herbalist, and a Christian who prays? Are we together? Please take seriously. It looks like a little secret, but it's a powerful one. When you find it, something that is a basis, you can hold on to it. When you read Isaiah 38, the Bible talks about a man called Ezekiel. I mean Hezekiah. And the Bible says, prophet Isaiah came and told Hezekiah, pack up your things. You will not recover from this sickness. You will die. <laughs> but Hezekiah knew that if you fund the project of the building of the Lord's house, the devourer should be far from you. You should live long. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and began to plead on the strength of his sacrifice to heaven. Have you read in your Bible the basis upon which the baptism of the Gentiles happened in the house of a man called Cornelius? He said, Cornelius, there is a reason why I'm visiting your house. Your giving, your arms and your prayer, you have supported the cause of the kingdom. There was a woman who died in the Bible called Dorcas. When she died, there was a basis to bring her back to life. The widow said, look, she sold clothes for us. And, and, and I don't know, was it Paul or, or, or Peter now? Peter had to say, no, 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 no. There is a basis for this woman to return back. I want to ask you a question. Why do you think you should not suffer in 2016? Because I'm a Christian, you are joking. They are a kind of people that the Bible says he reproves kings for them. Are you part of it? Before you claim a blessing, find out whether you qualify for the conditions. The Bible does not talk to everybody. In the Bible, demons spoke. Donkeys spoke. Where is your rema? Where is the word that you will use as your basis? Are we together? When they stopped Daniel from praying, the scripture Pastor Alpha shared, listen, when Solomon dedicated the temple, part of the covenant he entered with God was that anyone who turned to the Jerusalem temple, let that be a basis. Lord, remember the seeds that were used to build this temple. This temple remains an altar representing the sacrifice of men. So whoever turns to it, remember men sowed their things to raise this as a memorial. And when they wanted to destroy Daniel, if Daniel prayed closing his womb, he would have died for nothing. He opened the window onto Jerusalem and he started praying. And when they caught him, God said, will I now violate my word? And he sent an angel to protect them. Are we together? Don't pray serious prayer until you gather the spiritual arsenals that are responsible. You've been burying. You don't just stand up and say, I, I, Lord, I want a child. What is all this nonsense? That's not prayer. It's called grumbling and complaining. It's called murmuring. Read Hebrews 2, 3, 4 and see what happened to people who murmured. The earth opened and swallowed them. What is the basis? Lord, I want my church to grow just because you think you're a Nigerian. No, there must be a basis. Many Christians don't read their Bibles. They don't study the word. They don't know the provision that is made for them. Many preachers read the Bible just to preach. They read the part that is responsible for their sermon. 
you must be well equipped with the word when satan struck jesus said it is written this is the basis this is the basis man shall not live by bread alone but by every word and satan said it's true you have been attacking without scriptures you have been attacking emotionally satan get thee behind me and he will ask why he says lift up your heads O ye gates the gates replied who is this king of glory why should i open up and they said the lord strong and mighty you must pray according to the word let me give us the last key the bible says to always wrap up your prayer with thanksgiving a very simple but powerful mystery philippians chapter 4 from verse 6 to 7 it says be anxious for nothing right be anxious for nothing but in everything he says by prayer and supplication then with it thanksgiving he says make your request known make your request known be anxious for nothing but in everything as you pray not by complaining make your request with, with thanksgiving when jesus lifted five loaves and two fish he didn't say lord are you watching your name go down the drain the bible says he gave thanks thanksgiving thanksgiving right thanksgiving thanksgiving confidence this is the confidence we have the moment we ask anything in his name he will do it so you say lord i thank you because i know that this is done i thank you because i know this is done and let me tell you you want to take it to another dimension you can pray a prayer that is just full of thanksgiving no complaint lord jesus i thank you the bible says for with joy shall you draw out of the wells there are dimensions that salvation brings but joy is the key joy is the key that's why depression is associated with failure joy in the holy ghost are we together we are going to pray we are going to pray use the the next few minutes to travel seriously please i am pleading with you be serious be serious be serious don't don't when i say be serious i don't mean stand up or sit down that's not or, or shout or lie down that's not what i'm saying put your heart in this thing that's why we never give you a prayer request here without giving you a scriptural backing that's the difference between herbal herbal witchcraft and herbal solution and a scriptural solution are we together you make petitions not according to your pain oh god i've been crying till now and god says no there is a system please hear me cain and abel were brothers they both offered sacrifices one was accepted one was rejected that you are in a great house like this is no guarantee I feel like giving you one more key let me share with you one more key one mystery listen one mystery of answered prayer listen please is praying with the consciousness of the covenant that governs the spiritual house the spiritual tribe and the man of God who supplies grace and faith for you now listen this is very powerful you can make petitions on the strength of the covenant God has with a man are we together this is the revelation of the God of Abraham the God of Isaac the God of Jacob what is it about them there was a covenant that was why God had the prayer of Ishmael although Ishmael was a son that came by mistake that was not God's business there was still a covenant connection and when Ishmael cried God had Abraham and remember the covenant are we together you can make petitions in heaven 
on the strength of access that has come when listen listen the move of god on earth is through covenants god finds a man that represents his program for a season and enters a covenant with that man and whoever associates with that man is open to that dimension god had a covenant with that man with so you can access open heavens on the strength of the personal covenant that God had with a man or God had with a house. That was Daniel's secret. There was a covenant that God had with the temple in Jerusalem. Elijah had a covenant with God. And when Elijah knew his personal faith could not get this, he said, where is the Lord God? of Elijah. Lord, I approach this thing, not just on my personal faith. I come based on the personal covenant that you have. It's not witchcraft. It can be exaggerated but when it is understood, you will receive tremendous results. There are people riding on the wings of the tears of people. Are we together? When the devil afflicted Papa Oyedeko's wife, demons he was casting out of some people refused to leave his wife he prayed on the strength of his secret place as an apostle and the prophet of God and that situation seemed to defy him and then they went to Papa Adeboye his spiritual father and Adeboye said Lord I have a covenant with you that I will not bury any of my children remember that covenant that devil gave way at once he gave way listen there are altars that can speak for men it's a provision in the kingdom to give you easy breakthrough are we together if you do not understand this you will die like a chicken not every result is on the basis of your personal faith you can invoke covenants and God is a God that is a covenant keeping God there are men and women on earth on the strength of certain assignments that God gave them. There are ministries that God entered a personal covenant with them. It's a covenant of answered prayer. Let me tell you one of the covenants that is in Koinonia. is a covenant of answered prayer. That's why we submit prayer requests. It's a revelation God gave me. We bring every threat before God. And every issue that is brought before God will command open heavens. That's why you find out as we pray, you begin to see manifestations. It's not just about spiritual growth. It's a covenant. It's a covenant. Let me tell you, God does not answer me ministerially just because I am anointed. There is a covenant. That's why you hear us sing that song, My altar is calling you. There is an altar. There is a secret place. One covenant we have with God in this ministry is that we will never beg for bread. Are we together? God gave me an instruction one time and I put one 1,000 naira on the ground. Plenty, up to 100,000. And the Lord said, walk on it and pray. And I walked on it and prayed through the night. It was a covenant of wealth, not personal covenant. A covenant that covered everything. That no matter what it is, God will shake the heavens and raise helpers. That's why you hear testimonies like this, our brother. It's not a result from personal faith. He's even surprised. Where will 7.5 million come? It's a power of covenant. At a point in our prayer tonight, we will pray. Not on the strength of your personal faith. Lord, remember the ministry I'm part of. Lord, remember what I'm doing. I'm showing you deep keys. So you don't just pray foolishly and not get results. Rise up on your feet and let's pray. My altar is calling you Oh God My altar is calling you Oh God My secret place is calling you Oh God Take my praise Take my praise is calling you. Hey, hey. Take my praise. Take my praise. It's calling you. One more time, let's sing it. My altar is calling you. Oh God. My altar. Papa Rakata Lekato Kasada Brande Gadaba. My altar 
Hallelujah. Praise God. We are going to pray. Listen. The first prayer point for time's sake. We are going to be challenging the gates of limitation in our lives. We will pray for Nigeria. But I want you to pray and challenge the gates. He said, who at that mountain before Zerubbabel? Are we together? Who at that mountain before Zerubbabel? He said, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be made plain. Right? And that will happen at the shout, grace, grace. Lift your voice and challenge every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, pray, pray. Speak to the mountain. The Bible says if you speak to that mountain, it will give way. If you speak, Kabatalapatia. Oh, I speak. I speak. I speak. I prophesy. I command limitation in my life. You must bow in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command every limitation mocking the grace of God in my life. Every limitation mocking the power of God in my life. I challenge you in the name of Jesus. I command that dagon. You must bow. I command that dagon. You must bow. I command that dagon. You must bow. That dagon of joblessness. That dagon of poverty. That dagon of stagnation. Oh, I command you. I command you. In the name of the Lord God. Whose I am and whom I serve. I command you, I command you, I command you. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says, If thou shalt say to this mountain, not any mountain, the mountain has a name, you must call it. Don't say, God bless me. God favor me. No, no, no. You need to be specific. Lord, I am tired of stagnation in this area. Mention it and command what you want to do. The Bible says, declare ye that thou mayest be justified. Lift your voice and pray. Command it, call it by name, poverty. I call you by name, barrenness. I call you by name. I command you, clear up my path, limitation. I call you by name. I call you by name. I call you by name. You are a devil. I command you to give way. I tell you, mountains are moving. Mountains are moving. They must move. They must move. There is grace tonight. Challenge them. Call them by name. Rakatatata. Beketekete. They must move. If thou shalt say to this mountain, if thou shalt say to this mountain, Apakatatatata. Shakatakataka. 
Rapata. Oh, I command you, I command you, I command you that that God, you must leave God's people tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are we together? There is a mystery that exempts men from the plagues and the perils that come upon the earth. It is never in God's idea that you suffer what the world is suffering. Uh -uh. But there is a mystery of exemption. There are certain things that are written judgments. You cannot stop the judgment. It must come. But what happens is that there is an exemption. When the flood was about to come, he told Noah, build an ark. This flood, no one can stop it from coming. But I can exempt you. Build an ark. Are we together? Pharaoh had a dream. A famine was coming after seven years. Nothing will stop it. But there was a mystery. A strategy was revealed to, to Joseph. All through scripture, there have been famines. In Samaria, there was famine, but the prophet was not hungry. There was a mystery that sustained him. When it was time for breakthrough, he knew what to do. The Bible says there was a particular location. Please hear me. Hear me. You have to convince yourself that you are different. Don't call what they call conspiracy, conspiracy. The Bible says when men say there is a casting down. Are we together? We want to challenge that spirit that wants to include you in the sufferings that people are going through. Agreed, there's a lot of financial hardship. Agreed, there's a lot of downsizing. But do you not know that when men say there is a casting down, for you there is a lifting up you've got to believe it are we together are we together Isaiah 45 verse 1 and 3 quickly please media help us Isaiah 45 my spirit is fired up thus saith the Lord to his anointed Cyrus whose right hand I have holden I have to subdue nations before him what did God say he will do I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two lift gates and he says the gate shall not be shut next verse I will go before you say amen, amen. the last time God went before certain people in praise when they got there they found out the people had died when God goes before you, he makes every crooked path straight. He says, I will go before you and make the crooked places, what? Straight. I will break in pieces. Come on now. That's what happens when God is before you. I will break in pieces. He didn't say I will open. I will break it in pieces. And cut in sunder the brass of iron. This is a prophecy for you now. Verse 3. And I will give you the treasures of darkness. Hold on. Listen. There are treasures reserved for times of recession. They are called treasures of darkness. They are not the one you see with your physical eyes. They are reserved. The moment there is famine, God will say, come, there is a brook cherry for you. I can lead you to a place. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I invoke the mystery of exemption upon my life. I cannot be part of the tears of men. Lift your voice and pray. It's for your glory. Pray for myself, for my family. Are you praying, Koinonia? I will give you the treasures of darkness, the hidden riches of secret places the treasures of darkness the hidden riches oh 
Taka 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 raka to soto prende. Ekras kusu zopa katia. Karike to susu prende kete. Pray. You're not wasting your time. I exempt myself. Hallelujah. 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 Look at me. There are two instruments of exemption from scripture. Are we together? The first instrument of exemption is the blood. When the last plague was about to be revealed, he told them, he said, get a lamb. Cut that lamb. Drain the blood. Put it upon your lintel. Whether you have personal faith or not, that's not the issue. Once I see the blood, I pass by. Listen, it was a mystery. As far as the angel of death was concerned, he killed everybody. But when he got to some homes, they were already dead. And so he passed. There was no need killing them. The blood was a sign that someone had died for them. And so the angel passed. And everywhere he did not see it. Let me tell you. There is a mark upon the saints. Please hear me. This thing you call recession and suffering is a spirit. It has eyes. It knows where to go to. Are we together? I'd like you to pray and plead the blood for the purpose of exemption upon your life and your family. Lift up your voice and pray. Oh, plead the blood. The blood is a weapon of supernatural exemption from accident. Supernatural exemption from terrorism. Supernatural exemption from wickedness. Supernatural exemption from the assaults of darkness. No, 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 no death. No death. It's still a glorious year. Multiplied grace, influence by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we praying? The second instrument of exemption is called favor. The second instrument of supernatural exemption is called favor. Are we together? Psalm 45. My altar is calling you. 44, sorry, verse 3, quickly. Psalm 44. We are going to read Psalm 44, verse 3. Then we'll go to 41 from verse 9 to 11. Please take notes, media. 44, verse 3. Then we'll go to 41 from verse 9 to 11. Read with me Psalm 44, verse 3. One to read. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand, thine arm, the light of thy countenance. What was the mystery that made that happen? Because thou. 41 from verse 9 to 11 please. Read it. Yea. My own familiar friend. In whom I trusted. Which did eat of my bread. Had lifted up his heel against me. Does that look like the times we live in? Betrayal of people. Next verse. But thou, O oh God, be merciful unto me and raise me up that I may requite them. How will that happen? Next verse. Because my enemy. So every time 
your enemy wants to triumph favor is not just for collecting things it's an instrument for triumph lift your voice and say lord let favor exempt me lift your voice and pray the wickedness of men to destroy us the betrayal of men to mock our god including those close to us they may be family members but he says oh god this is how i will know that you have favored me when my enemies do not triumph over me hallelujah hallelujah don't be tired we are praying don't be tired Isaiah 54 please Isaiah 54 we are reading the first three verses we want to challenge stagnation and barrenness of every kind it's time for you to move forward are we together want to read sing O barren that did not bear it says break forth into singing and cry aloud thou that did not travel with child it says for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife said the lord verse 2 hallelujah enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation it says spare not enlarge lengthen thy court and lengthen thy stakes why verse 3 for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities. i like us to pray. We are going to pray the prayer of Jabez. Oh God, enlarge my territory. Lift your voice and pray. This dimension, this level, take me higher, take me deeper. Enlarge my coast, increase my influence. Enlarge my coast, increase my influence. Hallelujah. 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 There is a way men get preserved. The next half of the month is often the time that comes with catastrophe. People dying like chickens anyhow. Headaches sending people to their grave. Let me show you two verses that will settle the issue of the fear divine preservation. God is committed to his word. Isaiah 65 verse 18. Read it with all your heart. And then we'll go to verse 19. And read down to 24 or 23. Are we together? Everybody read please. Verse 8. Verse 8. Did I say 18? I'm sorry. Verse 8. 65 verse 8. Go ahead, read. One to read. As the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, destroy it not. Why? For there is a blessing in it. So will I do for my servant's sake, that I may not destroy them all. So as the destroyer is going around, there are some people. He says, because there is a blessing. He said, destroy it not. Are we together? Go to verse 19. Verse 19, same verse. We're reading down to 23. 
I want you to receive it and believe it with all your heart. And I will rejoice in Joshua Selman and joy in my people and the voice of weeping shall no more be heard in her. Not the voice of what? Next verse. There shall be no more then infant of days. Hold on. Premature death. There shall be no more infant of days. It says not an old man that has not what? Filled his days. It says for a child will be how old? It's in your Bible. For a child shall die a hundred years old. But a sinner being a hundred years old shall be a cause. 21 we are reading verse 23 and they shall build houses and inhabit them listen when the waster comes it makes you labor when it's time to enjoy something happens but he said they shall build houses and inhabit them they shall plant fine yards and then they shall eat of them 22 For as the days of a tree are the days of my people and my elect shall long enjoy the works of their hands. Last verse. You are going to pray and say Lord by the blessing preserve me. The blessing upon my life preserves me supernaturally lift your voice and pray preserving you from destruction destroy it not for there is a blessing upon it destroy it not for there is a blessing upon it destroy it not destroy it not there is a blessing. Destroy it not. There is a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for Nigeria. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we are not only spiritual people, we are agents of national transformation. Are we together? We are not irresponsible citizens in this nation. It's obvious that the leaders and the governments of nations are confused. They act bold, but we know they do not know what they are doing. And we are not surprised because the Bible said so. Are we together? But let me show you a scripture as we pray for Nigeria. It's a scripture that will bless you. Shibarakoto Supratia. Isaiah 62. We are going to read verse 6. And we are going to read verse 7. Then we will go to verse 1. 6 and 7. Go ahead and read want to read i have set watchmen upon thy walls O nigeria which shall never hold thy peace day or night keep not silent god is saying i want to move but i have set up certain people whose voice must be heard before i move he called them watchmen they are upon the walls and he says do not keep quiet he says give him no rest ah, till he establish till he makes Nigeria a place of the earth give him no rest make that petition make that petition verse 1 for Zion's sake I will not hold my peace and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness 
and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. Let's read verse 2 and 3. It's a prophecy about Nigeria. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name. The last verse. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of God and a royal diadem. Listen, we all know that there is a prophecy about Nigeria. I've taught it here in one of the messages. Are we together? Nigeria is not just a country. Nigeria is a holy land. Nigeria is to Africa what Jerusalem is to the world. Are we together? You can accurately use Nigeria as a spiritual map to gauge the happenings of God. Nigeria is the firstborn of God upon Africa. I've shared it again and again. The name Nigeria is a mystery. It was not, it was not just an amalgamation uh, of the northern and southern protectorate by Lord Lugard. It was a mystery. Are we together? There's no room I would have shown you in Isaiah 18 the prophecy about Nigeria that speaks about the people, the dark-skinned people coming far from Ethiopia is a prophecy about what will begin to happen to Nigeria. Are we together now? I have seen it many times in the visions of God that there will come an arising of men and women who will do great and mighty things for the kingdom. Are we together? That's the reason why when you look at the map of Nigeria, you will see a mystery there. The letter Y is the name of God upon Nigeria. It's a coded language. It's not River Niger and Benway. Listen, it is a code like Julius Baga will build a building and put their mark. He put his mark upon Nigeria. Water is one of the five elements of the supernatural through which God speaks to men. And he used water to write his name and that confluence meets in a place called Lokoja. The word Ja is the ancient name. Yah is God's own name. It's not the name of a state. It's God's prophecy about Nigeria. Lift your voice and say, Lord, it's time for the prophetic destiny of this nation to arise. Lift your voice and pray. Kapatakarika. Nigeria. God's firstborn. Nigeria. The holy land, God's land, Nigeria, God's own nation, Nigeria, God's own nation. Aparekete soto parata. Lord, we command every spirit. Lord, we command every power. We prophesy to the north. We prophesy to the east. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Every kingdom has a headquarters. The headquarters in every kingdom is the spiritual point of reference. The throne room is the point of reference in heaven. Everything in heaven emanates from the throne room it is God's administrative center of activity are we together Washington DC is the administrative center Abuja is the administrative center prophetically speaking God has a prophetic center in Mount Zion the side of the north the city of the great king there is a location men can stand and prophesy from that point he says promotion comes not from the east or the west or the south he never mentioned the north the bible says he are compounds this mountain long enough he said turn ye not words even in geography there is what we call true north there is a mystery to it we are standing here in the north prophetically speaking we have a territorial advantage listen I want you to take advantage. I'm teaching you deep prophetic mysteries of intercession. You don't just pray foolishly. Your soil is marching the north. The earth is one of the elements of the supernatural. There are five of them. The first is the wind responsible for sound. The second is fire 
the third is water the fourth is the earth the fifth is light every spiritual communication of god comes through these conduits and the earth is a universal point of contact we are standing in the north from this point he said from where thou art lift up your eyes i like us to prophesy to the borders of nigeria we are standing upon the north the side of the north the city of the great king stretch your hands to the heavens speak to the gates we call our gates peace we command the spiritual borders of this nation to be secured secured from terrorism we command peace upon our walls peace upon our gates Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll soon round up. We're praying. I want us to pray for our families. Many of our family members are confused. No matter how much you succeed in life, if your family members don't catch along, they will draw you back. Are we together? Are we together? We're going to pray. There are many families suffering. You see a family of 10 people, only one breadwinner. It's a cause. Are we together? It's a cause. But we are going to pray. There are many families that are dead. Once upon a time, they were rich. Once upon a time, they were blessed. Once upon a time, they were walking. Now they were dead. In Ezekiel 37, it says, Son of man, can these bones live? They were an army. They were a family one time. But something happened and they died. They lost their structure. But he said, son of man, if you want them to come to life, prophesy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. The instrument we will use in our families right now is prophecy. I'd like you to prophetically call everything dead in your family. They can live again. Open your mouth and prophesy. Open your mouth and prophesy. I call every dead thing in my family. Come back to life. Come back to life. Every dead business. Come back to life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, look up, please. We're rounding up. We're coming back to ourselves now to pray. Please listen. I have taught us again and again. There is a law that governs greatness. Please hear me. There is a law that governs being relevant. As powerful as prayer is. The Bible says, the gift of a man make it room for him the gift of a man the price to come out of the realm of struggle is the price to ascend in value for as long as you are on the begging side you will remain a slave forever are we together for as long as you are in the begging side please hear me i don't want to fool you not everybody is feeling the heat in Nigeria. There are people whose value and gift is too great for them to feel any heat. Are we together? There are people, this is the best year so far for them. No, no, no. I, I'm not saying by faith. It literally is. Every day is Christmas for them because their gift cannot but open doors. Listen, the greatest gift a man can have 
is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You don't refrigerate it. You don't have to wear suits for it to walk. It doesn't need battery. It doesn't need voting. Oh, come on. A man who pays the price to carry the power of the Holy Ghost is a man who will never beg for bread. A man who will never die in complex. Seek for a man who is discreet and wise that you may set him over the affairs of Egypt. And they checked around. There was no man anointed enough except Joseph. And at once he became a prime minister. Are we together? Everybody needs the power, the unction, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. With all due respect and with all humility and to the glory of God, I will never beg till Jesus comes. It will never, it's not, no, 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 no. It's not a prophecy. I'm not prophesying. I'm telling you what will never happen under the sun again. Even if one gallon of fuel is 10,000, I will never beg again. You know why? Because for as long as there is one demon roaming around the earth, my life is still useful. You may not like me, but there is a treasure in earthen vessels. And every time you are buffeted by hell, you will need what I represent. Question. Who is ready to pay you for what you carry? If there is no man willing to pay you for what you carry, you will feel the heat of what is happening in this country. I don't want to deceive you we cry because we think we are carrying degrees and so government should give us jobs no it doesn't work that way are we together in any economy listen in any economy private organizations are the ones responsible for employment there is only so much the government can do and private enterprises are very few in Nigeria and Africa and they are at their state of infancy they do not have the capacity to employ labor and reduce unemployment waiting for government to help you is a mirage there is a mystery Job said there is a path which no foul knoweth the webs of the lion has not gotten there there is something a man can carry that will make you useful men will pay you and call it a privilege fill me up Till I overflow, I want to go. I want to Fill me up. Till I overflow, I want to run over. I want to run over. Sing it one more time. something upon my life that will force men to look for me lift your voice and pray place an anointing oh god upon my life place an ability come on pray an anointing that will cause gentiles to come to your light they are kings to the brightness of thy rising An unction from heaven, an ability that makes me an endangered species, an unction from the throne room that will make men seek me. Pray, 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 pray. Shakata prakata rekotosh. Hallelujah. 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 Mark chapter 1, verse 36 and 37. We are going to pray. You must be relevant. It takes a gift. It takes value to be relevant. There is what can make men look for you. You have been looking for men. Stop looking for men. 
look for grace grow to become valuable are we ready no 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 not proverbs 18 16 that's not what i said mark chapter 1 please mark 1 36 37 he said and simon and they that were with him did what followed after him and this is what happened next verse may that be your prophecy in jesus name go ahead and read it one to read and when they had found him they said unto him all men seek for thee what is it that you must carry that will make men look for you they will travel from lagos and say pastor alpha you are the only one carrying what i need lift your voice and cry lord every potential locked up in me every gifting every idea that will make men look for me to come with their treasures to come with their bounties every unction every prophetic anointing every healing anointing every teaching grace every entrepreneurial ability every leadership ability every intellectual prowess that will force men to look for me i cry for a release i cry for an activation i'm tired of looking for help i am tired of begging men oh god activate a grace upon my life Shabakatata. pray from your heart hallelujah hallelujah we're rounding up we're going to sing this song god's ability sing it with all your heart and i want to prophesy upon you are we together there is an unction that can come upon you can come upon your business can come upon your academics can come upon your life you may be gifted but is your gift anointed it's one thing to be gifted but it's another thing for that gift to have an anointing when little brings much it is anointed when much brings much it is scientific when much brings little it is demonic but when little brings much it has to be supernatural That's what you see lifting this ministry recession proof pain proof stress proof by the unction of the spirit rising like an edifice as though satan does not exist by a mystery no gate of hell can unravel what can it be it's god's ability God's ability is working in me. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you, but I want to speak some blessings upon you. It says, Early will I seek you to see your power and your glory in my life as I have seen in the sanctuary. It's one thing to see the hand of God in a sanctuary. Help her, please. And then it's another thing to see it in your life. It's one thing to see God move in koinonia. But it's another thing to see it work in your life. I want to pray for you. No, no. Something must land in your life. Please. I want you to believe this with all your heart. One of the gifts that God has given us in this ministry is the gift of helpers. We never raise a voice to cry without somebody answering. And it was a light God gave me. It says you will call on man and a nation will answer. 
I want to pray for you. There is an unction that makes men come to your aid. In the name of Jesus. Right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In this night of prayer. I release that anointing. All over the building. Inside and outside. Receive that anointing right now. Receive that anointing right now. Receive that unction right now. The unction that draws help us. I tell you fire is falling on people. The unction from heaven that calls help us to your life. Strange help us. Hallelujah. We are still praying. We are rounding up this prayer session. I want to pray for you. Brothers and sisters, if I tell you I do not know what the favor of God looks like, I will be lying to you. There is such a thing called the Esther anointing. God gave me this revelation in 2010. That there is an anointing called the Esther anointing. The Bible says Esther found favor on everyone who looked at her. It was like a cloth she was wearing. Once you look at them, the mantle comes upon you. You must favor them. Listen, there is such a grace. When men make contact, for as long as their eyes can see you, something must force resources from them. I pray for you. In the name of the Lord God of heaven, by the mystery of favor, I see this falling on people. Receive the Esther anointing. Now, now, now. Receive the Esther anointing. Enough is enough. I prophesy it inside, outside, everywhere, online. Receive the Esther anointing. The Esther anointing. Strange favor. Strange testimony strange favor I prophesy it let it enter your spirit I activate it let it work in your life strange favor strange favor strange favor strange favor strange favor listen if you want to pay your way through life you will die young it's not about being rich it's about being favored it's not all about money there are some things money cannot do are we together favor we are going to pray for speed speed it's a grace that makes men run and do so much in a short time. Listen. There is a cause of retrogression in many families and many lives. It's not that they are stagnated but they are moving too slow. When a man buys his first car at 70 years, it's not a testimony. Are we together? When our parents at 65 are still looking for money to complete lintel is a cost. Many parents are waiting for their children to build for them. But the Bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. I want to pray for you. There is such a thing as speed. There is such a thing as speed. Some of us are moving. God is helping us. But if you are to be sincere, your pace is slow. Financially, it's too slow in every wise ministerially is too slow entrepreneurially is too slow it's too slow are we together a woman can give birth to give birth to three children in 20 years is not a testimony are we together you take in five years after your marriage first child seven years later that's when you can take in again nine years later that's when the third one comes you are now using your pension to pay the secondary school fees of, of children. It's a cost. Are we together? The Lord must send speed to our lives. 
some of us the, the things you planned from january till now not one you have not ticked it one no you need grace there, there is a grace that accelerates men are we together let me share this with you with all humility i went to check my list of the things that i was trusting god would do in my life i found out that certain things that were least for other years god had gone ahead to start doing them and i said lord you are faithful and the lord said if you trust me i can surprise you to the end of the year that's what god said and i believe it for us all we're praying we've been trusting god for a place of counseling you know because of the crowds that come and just last week a family i think they are represented here just came and met us and said they wanted to give us their whole church facility to be using for counseling at no charge that's the gift of men are we together the gift of There's a song in my heart. I'm not Yoruba. You know the song? Who knows the song? We need to sing that song. Do you know the song? for as many buses even if they have to come back multiple times don't be afraid we're going to make sure if it's possible to transport everybody will send you so don't be afraid of time praise the lord it's part of the wicked stupid things that poverty does for people god wants to bless you you are thinking we cause that spirit in the name of jesus focus and concentrate we are blessed enough to take you home don't rob yourself of the miracle are you hearing what i'm saying i want to speak from the depth of my heart you need speed this prayer session is important you need speed in your life. Some of us, you are too slow. Everything you do is like the spirit of a tortoise. You are limping when others are flying. The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength. He said they will mount up with wings as eagles, riding through the current. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a grace that makes men catch up some of you it's not even speed what you need is restoration first before speed are we together hallelujah someone we used to know many years ago we had the opportunity of seeing that person this year and when we saw that person this year it was an apology it was horrible he was looking like a thief after many years do you know it's a terrible thing for you to be growing older and nothing is growing with you the only thing growing in your life is your age it's a cause are we together don't say you are too young to be blessed don't allow the cause that came with your village where the first person to take his head out of the water did it at 40 and they say you are too young too young for what you are not too young for trouble why should you be too, too young for blessings when trouble comes people say it's all right but when blessings come they say well, how did this happen i want to pray with, for you let a, a dimension of speed that will make men ask you what are you using i pray for you in the name of jesus christ at the count of three may that function for speed honestly from my heart let it fall on people lord i'm praying at the count of three release grace oh god move your people forward one two three take that grace now take that grace right now help them speed 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 shaparakata speed i command speed where you have been crawling start running start running start running where you have been running start flying Start flying. 
by prophecy start flying by prophecy start flying pursue overtake recover without fail i prophesy to you pursue overtake pursue overtake pursue overtake recover thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head thank you for lifting 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 in two minutes i'd like you to thank god expressions of deep gratitude lord i thank you speak to him in your language expressions of deep gratitude thank you jesus i have prayed it my hands will handle it i have prayed it my hands will handle it i have prayed it my hands will handle it Hallelujah. 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 Please let me have your attention, everybody. There are people here right now. I'm going to make an altar call, two altar calls in one. Please, no moving around. Let's respect what God is doing now. There are people here. Probably you just came the first time you have been here. You have never truly made a commitment. Please listen. Don't be distracted, people outside. And many who are following us online, there are thousands of people following us online on our social media platforms. If you are here, please keep standing, everybody. I know we're tired, but let's keep standing to encourage them. There are people here who, whilst the service was going on as we were praying, the Holy Ghost was speaking to you and saying you need Jesus in your life. Listen, let me tell you something. Everybody is a product of God's grace and mercy. No man condemns you. But at the same time, he said, ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. Hallelujah. You are here, you've never made that commitment. Or at one point, you've made the commitment, but then for some reason, you found yourself living the things of God. You were angry at God. You were offended. Several things happened in your life. And you're saying, Lord, I'm coming back to you. Wherever you are, these two categories, it's my pleasure to lead you to Jesus. Please make it fast. Our time is gone. There are people outside. Koinonia, appreciate them. The Holy Ghost is speaking to them. Don't wait for anybody to come out. You are the first. Take that bold step and make your way to the front very quickly. Very quickly. Inside and outside, if there are people coming, clear the way for them. Very quickly. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I believe there are still many more people. Make your way to the front. Those outside, in any of the overflows outside. Don't say I'm so far. That's the lie of the devil. You're welcome. Make your way to Jesus. Run to Jesus like there's fire on the mountain. God bless you. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Shame on the devil. Win that war over your destiny tonight. And let him give you a new beginning. Let him be give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. If you are still joining them, make your way. Those of us in front, thank you so much. I love you and I salute you for coming. Lift your right hand and say it after me. Very boldly, you are not reciting a poem. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I believe in you. I believe that you are the son of God. Tonight, I ask for your mercy. I ask for your grace I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior and my Lord and I declare that from today I am a child of God I'm saved I'm washed by the blood from today the Lord gives me a new beginning I am a member of the household of faith in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much for making this lovely decision. It's the greatest decision you will ever make in your life. Now, very quickly, there's a gentleman waving his hands. 
they are going to direct all of you. So please make sure you follow them and they'll have your details. They'll let you know. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing